Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another video. My name's John Tracy, and I've got something I think quite interesting to share with you all today. Yesterday, I received an email from Octopus Energy, or more importantly, from The Collective. We are the Borg. No, not that type of collective. Octopus announced something called the Octopus Collective, and today we're going to dig into that. So I think a good place to start is to say, if you came here looking for financial advice on what to invest in, then I want to be very clear with you. I am not a financial advisor. You should not take advice on investments from anybody on YouTube. No matter who they are, what they claim to be, go and talk to a registered professional. Go and talk to somebody who you will have some recourse if they tell you to invest in something and you get it wrong. Do not take advice from people on YouTube. These are my own opinions. Take them how you will. So Octopus recently announced The Collective by Octopus Energy. This is an investment vehicle that allows people to invest into green technology and make a return on their money. Now you might think, hang on, doesn't that sound very similar to, to Ripple Energy? Ripple Energy have been in this market for a while. They've been uh, having people invest in building wind turbines and solar farms, and people have been making a return on their investment. Well, I think the way to show the difference between the two is that let's dig into what the collective is, and then we can compare it against what Ripple Energy is and maybe other types of investments. The Octopus Collective is an investment opportunity. It is offering up to 6% return on your investment annually. Note the word up to. We'll come back to that in a minute. So the idea behind the collective is you can invest anywhere from £25 up to £20,000 across multiple projects in the renewable sector that Octopus works in. Right now they have two wind turbines that you can invest in. Um, one is in Yorkshire and one is in Wales and they are separate projects and you can invest as much or as little as you like into each one up to the maximum limit of £20,000. Now, according to the website, they plan to add other investment opportunities here. So hopefully we'll see solar, maybe some tidal at some point, but the ability for you to be able to invest different amounts of money into the projects that you want to support. So let's dig into the questions that I had when I received this, and I found most of this information on the Octopus website. I will put a link to it in the description below. But these are some of the things that the initial thoughts that I had and some of the questions that I needed to get answered. They're very, very clear about this. This is a high risk investment that you can lose all of your money. If something goes wrong, the company doesn't work out for whatever reason, you could lose every single penny that you invest. The 6% returns are not guaranteed. So if the wind turbines, if the wind doesn't blow, there's not enough energy generated, when they sell that energy to the market to be able to give you your 6%, you will get less or possibly nothing. Now they make a big deal about being regulated by the FCA, that's the Financial Conduct Authority. They are regulated by them, they operate under their rules, but that doesn't give you any protection of your investment in any way, shape or form. You could still lose absolutely everything. They will pay out their dividends on a quarterly basis. So your 6% per annum will get split up into four payments, which you can receive either into your bank account or you can receive them directly into your Octopus Energy uh, electricity and gas account. Now, when you buy into the collective, you're effectively buying shares in the particular project that you've chosen. These shares do not carry voting rights. They are not like shares that you would buy in a company. They are just a portion of the particular project. Your dividends will be subject to tax. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you're a higher rate taxpayer, then this is something you really need to be aware of. And as I already mentioned, you have a choice. You can either have the dividends paid directly into your bank account, or you can have them paid directly into your Octopus Energy account. And at the end of the three year period, Octopus plans to return your capital investment so at the end of three years, you will have received three years worth of dividends and you will hopefully get your money back, providing the investments all work out everything to plan. But as I said earlier, this is a high risk investment. You could lose everything. You might get back 
some of the money you invested, or you might get it all back. Now, how does this differ to Ripple? Because Ripple have been around for a few years now. And although they seem very similar on the surface, you're investing into renewable energy technologies, Ripple is a fundamentally different thing. When you join Ripple, you're buying into part of a renewable energy project in the same way that you do with the Octopus Collective. But what you're actually doing is becoming a member of a co-op. Now with Ripple, your investment pays you by uh, taking a portion of the energy generated from the particular project that you're invested in, selling that at market rates, and then that uh, portion, your share of that, gets credited to your energy account on a monthly basis. The main difference between Ripple Energy and the Octopus Collective is you're becoming part of a co-op. You're becoming part, a part owner of that renewable energy project. With Octopus, you're not. You're buying shares for a three-year period, which will be returned to you at the end of it. At the end of it, you'll hopefully have your investment back, but that's it. You can then choose to reinvest that money in another project. You don't own anything at the end of that three-year period. And the Ripple investment is a long-term investment. On the website, they have a calculator and they're sort of forecasting out 30 plus years. Now, at the end of the lifespan of that particular project, they will make a decision whether to extend that project and re maybe refurb the wind turbine and keep it going, or whether or not they take that wind turbine down. But you can be looking at an investment which will continue to pay back for 30 plus years. Now the big disadvantage here of the Ripple system is that you have to invest up front and it could be two years before you start to see a return on your money. And that's because the way Ripple works is they take investment in to actually build the project. So the wind turbine that you're buying into doesn't exist today. Whereas with the Octopus Collective, those wind turbines are up and operating. And as you invest in them, when the project starts, you'll be able to get your, uh, your dividends within the first three months. Now with Ripple as well, the break-even period, the point where your investment has paid itself off and you're starting to just make pure profit, is going to be about 15 years. So again, a much, much longer term investment than the Octopus Collective. Now, the other thing that I like about Ripple compared to Octopus, at the moment, Octopus just has a choice of two wind turbines. Uh, Ripple has multiple projects, both solar and wind, and hopefully this is something that will come to the Octopus Collective, is the ability to invest in solar farms as well. But there is a problem with Ripple at the moment. Ripple is not accepting new investments at this time. So they've put a pause on their latest project while they're working out some details with the, the site owner, um, and they say on the website, we hope to start taking investments again soon. But right now, as of today, which is the 10th of February, you can't actually invest in Ripple right now. So let's take a look at the two of them, because Ripple seems to be much of a less risky investment than Octopus. With Ripple, you're actually buying into a physical wind turbine. You're buying an ownership share of that particular wind turbine or that solar farm. Because you actually own a portion of the wind turbine or the solar farm, you can pass that investment on. If you, heaven forbid, uh, aren't with us any longer, then as part of your estate, you, somebody else can inherit those shares. Now, whenever I'm investing money, I always look at it in comparison to some of the more safer investments. So both Ripple and the Collective are both significantly more risk than just putting your money in an ISA. So if you're looking for something that is very safe, very stable, is going to give you a guaranteed return, then an ISA might be better for you. But when we actually look at them side by side, there's a couple of things that stand out to me. All three claim to be regulated by the FCA, that's the Financial Conduct Authority. They have very different return periods. Although the product, both the Ripple and the Octopus products, might seem similar, you know, one is a three-year investment, one is a long-term 30-plus year investment. They all have maximum limits, um, certainly worth checking out with Octopus, it's about £20,000. Ripple claim you can invest up to about 100 megawatts. Now, quite what that turns into in pounds and pence, I'm not sure. And obviously with ISAs, I believe the limit's about £20,000 per annum. The only one of these that you actually own something, for, uh, you know, a tangible asset is with the Ripple investment. The returns with Octopus, you could get up to 6%. With an ISA, just the, a quick one that I looked at on my banking app, it's easy to get 4.5% guaranteed and it will be very, very safe. With your um, 
Octopus investment, yes, you could get a little bit more, but you could also lose all your money as well. So the risk with the Octopus one is very, very high. The risk with uh, Ripple, I would say, is a medium risk. And obviously with a high street bank, ISA, then it's very, very low. Now, one thing I would say in Octopus's favor here is that before they will let you invest, um, you can go to the website, you can read all the documents, you can sign up for an account. You actually have to take some training. You have to go through a little course on what a high risk investment means, uh, to make sure that you fully understand that you could lose all of your money before you invest in this. And once you've done all of that, there is then a 24 hour wait period. So you might be all excited, I wanna invest some money. They give you an automatic uh, 24 hour cooling off period. So once you've completed the training, you won't be able to just give them your credit card and, uh, and buy shares straight away. You have to wait at least 24 hours. Now, as I said at the beginning, I am not a financial advisor. Do not take financial advice from people on YouTube. It never works out, trust me. <laughs> but I'm gonna invest in all three of these and I'm gonna see what delivers the best return. Now this might take a little bit of a while to set up because as I say, Ripple aren't taking investments right now, but hopefully by the time we get to about May when the Octopus projects are due to start, hopefully Ripple will allow me to invest uh, at that point. I will be investing a small amount of money in all three. And at some point in the future, I will report back um, maybe periodically on how each one of the three is doing. But again, do not take my advice. I am not suggesting that you should invest any money in any of these schemes. And yeah, I don't often listen to my own advice. I hope this has been useful. Um, if you hadn't heard about the Octopus Collective, then again, links will be in the description below. I'll also place links to, to Ripple as well. So again, if you want to go and do your own research, which I highly recommend, you'll find those links in the description below. So thank you very much for clicking on this video. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, and I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care, bye-bye.